So you chose to live in New England. Don't know why, but you did. And you wanted something sporty, but didn't want to be so you didn't buy a WRX. You bought this. This is a Mazda 3 Turbo. It's all wheel drive, so you can do snow, but you can't. Why can't you, Brendan? That's weird. I, I thought you could have consulted. No, stop. Stop it. They're not bad, but they're not great. They could be better. So in this episode of OutRun, I'm gonna show you how to make it better. Duffy, I hear you cry. How can you make it better? How does it work? Well, step one is to find yourself some of these. The Mazda lovers among you will instantly recognize this as the five-spoke OEM wheel off of the FD RX-7, one of Japan's most popular sports cars of the 90s. I found them on Kruber for 300 bucks. Yes, FD wheels for $300 with some snow tires on them. Already mounted, balanced, and ready to go. So I had them shipped over here, and we're gonna put them on the Mazda 3, because the first thing you need is better snow tires. So ignoring the fact that I was trying to use insulation in this shot as a replacement for the jack's cushion on the end, the first step is to jack up your car. Because I'm dumb, I called my friend, who's a Mazda technician, to make sure that I had the right spot. And he didn't pick up, so I chose the pinch weld looking thing, which turned out to be correct, so win! Oh, and before you go lifting anything off the ground, make sure to loosen your lug nuts. Almost all modern cars come with this rather funky looking locking nut that requires a key to take off the wheels. It should look something like this. So the best part about this entire situation entire <laughs> get it winter time okay about this entire situation is that i don't even know if this really fits <laughs> I, it should clear the brake calipers everything checked out in the spec so we're gonna we're gonna slap it on and we're gonna see how she how she looks hey that's pretty good so now with one of these on, the next thing you gotta check is the clearance between your tire wall and your suspension geometry. This, to me, is really, really close. Probably closer than the factory setup. And this is a 16, we're jumping down from an 18, which is the factory black rim. However, the base model Mazda 3 does come with 16s. So, theoretically, everything should clear, but this is really close. The only way to tell is gonna be to take it for a drive and listen for scraping, which is horrifying, but... Now looking into the back, this should have no problem clearing whatsoever, but still we gotta see. It's hitting that, I think it's hitting the plastic cover over the rear strut. Hard to tell. Now that, that is some wheel gap. Oh, hey guys. So, little time jump has happened. Um, I drove the car for a week like this. They're all good. No scraping, no rubbing, everything fits nice. It looks kind of dumb, which is how I like my cars. So that's fine, we like that. But I forgot, we have one more thing to do. You all asked, and I didn't, I didn't answer. I honestly kind of forgot this channel existed for a good month or two. But we're back now, because everybody was like, Duffy, how do you install side skirts? And I was like, I don't know. So I reached out to these cool guys at Strafe Design. Um, which I'm pretty sure is just three dudes sitting in a room with a laser cutter. I don't have that on paper, but I'm pretty sure that's correct. And they were like, hey, we make side skirts, which doesn't really fit on your display table, but we make them, which is great. So they sent me over some, not sponsored. I did pay for these just at a discount. And if you'd like the same discount, you can use code 
I think it's, I think, I, guys, I'm so sorry. I'm pretty sure it's code outrun, but I talked to them so long ago now that I don't even remember what it is. It's on screen. I'm never getting sponsored again. Holy shit. <laughs> but these things are pretty cool. Um, I think I've never had side skirts before. They install with some screws. So I'm going to slap these on links in the description. If you want some, let's go crazy. Cue the music. The side skirts actually come with some very useful instructions, but I can't read, so that idea lasted about two seconds. This is seriously a job fit for two people, but because it was just me, I used my jack as a second set of hands. Using a guideline under the car to keep them straight, I used the included screws to secure them to the skirt. Or I tried. So I don't know what these things are actually made out of, but they feel like titanium because the instructions just say, screw it in. So I'm trying to screw it in. The screwdriver didn't work because it's freaking flatheads and I can't get my, my impact on it. So what I'm going to do is punch out holes like this with this little thingy, and then I'm going to drill them out and then I'm going to go back to the car and I'm just going to go and that should make it easier. Right? Right? Okay, good. Good plan. So that's the side skirts done. It is really cold out right now, so I'd like to go inside. But I will leave you guys with the cinematic. Link to the side skirts is in the description. Use code OUTRUN for some percentage off. Insert percentage here. They're, they're a pretty good piece of kit, so thanks to Stray for sending those out to me. And you know, share this with some friends if they have Mazda 3s or if they like music or anything like that. I really enjoy making these, so I hope you guys enjoy watching them. And if you do, leave a like. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Bye.